that's stank as well. Danny Savage coming at you with another video today. Now, I know what you may think. No, no, no. I know what you may be thinking. Do you appear to be wearing the same clothes as in your last video? Well, that is because I have shot both the videos at the same time, all right? You're just gonna have to deal with it, all right? I don't want you coming around there giving me grief because I'm fucking doing two videos in one day. If you knew how hard it was to get from my chair to this chair, you wouldn't be moaning. Listen, now we've got that cleared up, what I'm gonna do for you today is I'm gonna show you how to, or how I line up my beard with a cutthroat. This isn't so much a video on how to use a cutthroat, uh, I suppose it's more if you kind of, you know, know how to set it up and you know how to use a blade. This is just showing you how I line up, all right? On me, it's not gonna show up as much because I've got like, pubic hair on my face and it's not that dark and it's a couple parts of it patchy it's not gonna look as sharp as um, as it could do but I'll put a couple pictures up of cuts that I do where I use this technique uh, and it'll show you how sharp it can get it let's start all right I'm gonna start by putting a new blade uh, the blades that I'm using are the Gillette seven o'clock blades I've recently started using them over, uh, before I was using Astra, um, and these are pretty damn good, I gotta say. Cool, so blade set up, we're good to go. Um, obviously, there'll be a lot of preparation involved if I wasn't sat in my studio doing this for you, but it's a bit difficult, so. Again, let's put up a bit, right? So as we can see, got a little bit of hair going on underneath here around there and that's what I'm gonna line up for you. It's cold. I'm just gonna get some water just to uh, wet the skin. See ideally you'd have like you know a brush or some kind of applicator but um, it's not gonna happen so cut your wine in. Right that's moist. Uh, I like to use non-foaming gel just because you can still see where you're going, so I'm just gonna put a fair amount on there to make sure it's all covered because the hair is quite long and I haven't really had time to prep. Let's start. There's a couple of grips I'm gonna be using, all right? Standard, and if we flip it, we're using that one as well. So I divide it into half. Down to about here, I'll be using down strokes, and then going up to there, I'll be using up strokes. Take it from the line that I want to go to down to like the middle of the eagle's head. I appreciate you might not have an eagle's head uh, for a point of reference, but that's where I'm going to. Oh yeah. So I'm just going along my line. Bit of blood there, but it happens. So I'm kind of creating that line under my chin, look. Now I'm gonna go up. It's quite a bit of blood there. I haven't really cut myself, it's just a little nip. Go up, look. Going to hair from underneath. And now I've taken this off, I can go all the way up if I want to. Right, apparently I've sliced my neck open. Um, probably could die of blood loss now, so. Flipping the grip on this side. So I'm always coming from that line. Down. And it does help to go up as well, up to the line that help you to sharpen it up. It's looking pretty, pretty sharp, look. There is a little nick there, but like I said, it happens. And I didn't really have a chance to prep myself properly because I'm out in the studio and it's cold. So will you stop moaning? I'm fed up of you moaning all the time, all right? If you're having a go because I've nicked myself, if you're having a go because I'm wearing the same clothes, just leave it. Jesus. Right, so that's feeling pretty smooth. Now I'm gonna smash them on my cheeks, just to line that up. The reason that the cutthroats work so much better than 
you know, your safety razors that have got loads of blades is you can't see what line you're going to. So that's why it helps if you can learn how to use a cutthroat. It's not easy, mind. It's not like something you can just buy and start doing straight off. You kind of have to learn how to do it. So, let's get my gel. Just get some on my cheeks. Uh, maybe not take my glasses off. Right, so, first things first, I'm just gonna take the bulk of it off. Coming above the line that I wanna go to. Just taking it down. Same the other side. Taking it to the line. Right, so what I've done is kind of preliminary, preliminary, preliminarily, that's what we're, um, kind of created a line. Uh, on one like mine where it's a bit patchy, you don't want to intrude too much into the beard. But at the same time, you do want to go into it a little bit because that will create your line. Um, if you just went to the, the top of where it starts, if you know what I mean, you're not going to get all of the hair, so you're not going to get a clean line. So I'm going to go and just intrude ever so slightly into my beard line. My brother's got to go. Alright, so I'm going just to the line. You can kind of see, see the line I've created. Like I said, my beard's pretty shit, so doesn't work as well but if I don't know if I already have put the pictures up in the video or if I haven't I will now um, but that'll show you you know when you've got decent hair how good it can look so let's just wipe that off a minute so now that's done you can kind of see it's pretty nice and straight that's all nice and smooth yeah pretty happy with that um, I do wish I had better hair, to be honest, but I haven't, so. Okay, so, thanks for watching this video. If you've got any questions about this video, or about shaving, or about anything, just let me know. Um, put it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Like I said, it's not a comprehensive how to shave, it's just, if you've got a beard like this, which is very common, that's how I line it up, and that's how I get it looking pretty sharp. Thanks for joining in, I do love you. Um, Click subscribe if you haven't already, please. And listen, I'm gonna do as many videos as I can. But as I'm a one-legged freak at the moment, it's a bit difficult. I'll see you later, guys. Take it steady.